um, we're going to start with the heavier set. We're going to do some back work and some push-ups. And then our lighter set, we're going to go into a little bit of shoulder and tricep work. If you don't have dumbbells, but you have body bands, feel free to use those. If you don't have any weight at all, grab a couple of water bottles, grab a soup can, just grab something that has a little bit of weight and a little bit of resistance. But really, when you're working with things like that, focus on what muscle you're working, what muscle you're contracting. Really focus on squeezing. So we're gonna start on the floor for today's workout. I'm gonna give you the exercises, I'm gonna give you guys some proper form, and then I'm gonna tell you what to do, and you're gonna continue on on your own. Today's goal is five sets of 10 reps. So basically 50 of each exercise, but I want you to work through them exactly like that. Five sets of 10 reps, gonna do back first with rows and push-ups and some shoulder taps. Then we're gonna move on to shoulders with flies, front raises, and overhead tricep presses. So we're gonna start on the floor, let's go. You're gonna have your dumbbells down on the floor and you're gonna come in push-up position. Now, if you start to get tired or you're just beginning this workout and you can't make five reps, that's okay. Make two, make three, do what you can. We're gonna start with push-ups, however, in proper push-up form. So let me roll these out of the way. And you have two options here. First option is on your toes. Abs in nice and tight. Bring your hands in closer. No wide, wide, and no super close. Line them up just outside your shoulders. Abs in nice and tight. And when you come down on your push-up, anchor your elbows behind you. Don't bow them out. So stay light on your fingertips, everything facing the floor, down, squeeze up. This takes the pressure out of your shoulder joint. So don't do this. Don't flare those elbows out. Keep them tucked in, so that means keep those hands facing forward. Your second option for push-ups is to put your knees down on the floor, abs in nice and tight, and drop it down here, drive it up. Exact same motion for your hands, however. Keep those elbows tucked in, down, and drive up. That's our first exercise, it's going to be push-ups. Our second exercise is gonna be rows. Now you have two options here. You can use your dumbbells as handles and you can do your push-ups on them as well. Or you can place one hand on the ground and row from here. You may do these on your knees or on your toes, but body form is the exact same as in push-ups. So abs in nice and tight, everything faces down. I'm gonna grab that dumbbell, tuck it nice and close, and row straight back. Elbow points to the ceiling behind you. If you're on your toes, Abs in nice and tight, chin and eyes down, everything lined up, grab that dumbbell, row straight up. All right, exercise three, when we're down here, you're gonna row everything out of your way, knees or toes again, same push-up position four, and we're gonna do shoulder taps. I'm gonna face you guys a little bit more this time, and you're just gonna tap your shoulder. What I don't want is this. Don't rock back and forth. Stay nice and stable. Lifting up, tapping that shoulder. We're gonna do 10. 10 of these is equivalent. One, one, two, two. So, I'm gonna walk you through the first set, then we'll go from there. So 10 push-ups, 10 rows, 10 shoulder taps. Knees or toes on those push-ups. That's where we're starting. Ready, three, two, one, here we go. Nice and controlled. Remember, abs in tight. Tuck those elbows behind you. If you need to be on your knees, place your knees down. Five more. Two more. And good. Come up. Grab a hold of your dumbbells. You can take both hands in or one hand on the ground. It's up to you. Abs in. Row straight up. Now, don't lean that body. Keep everything in. Again, if you need to be on your knees, nice and controlled. We're doing 10 aside. <coughs> Good. Let's take it to the other side. Drop those down, push them 
out of your way. Keep everything in. And shoulder taps. One, one. Again on your knees. Keep everything in. Keep everything lined up. Perfect. That's one set of 10. Your goal is five. Remember, if you're just getting started, newer to working out, two sets, three sets, you build. It's up to you. It's your comfort level. Advanced, five rounds. If you can push a little bit of heavier weight, that's fine as well on those rows. Remember your goal to just watch your form. Let's move on to shoulders and triceps. I'm gonna grab a set of smaller weights. But again, it's your comfort level. No weights, water bottle, soup cans, wherever you're comfortable. We're gonna do a set of flies, all right? And then front raises, and then bring them over. Our final set will be overhead tricep extensions. When you're doing flies, abs in tight, chest up, shoulders squared. I say this on every exercise we do, whether it's lower body or upper body, because it's that important. You wanna protect your back, you want to protect your midsection, so you want to keep it all lifted. You want to keep that head and chest up. There's never any reason to look at the floor when you're standing nice and tall, unless that body is forward. That's the only reason. Spine is nice and straight. Top of head to your tailbone. Nice straight line. We're going to start with flies. Loose grip on those dumbbells. Bring them in front. Right up top. Right to shoulder level. No straight arms. Don't lock those elbows. Keep them soft. Don't want them here either. Just let them stay nice and relaxed down to the side. We have 10. And good. So now we're going to go straight into front raises. You're going to turn those dumbbells so knuckles face the front. When you're here, if you need to, split your feet. That's going to protect your back as well as engaging those abdominals. So split your feet, so it keeps your body from rocking back and forth. And you're going to go right here, raise to the front. Now, if you're just getting started and your weights are a little heavy when you're doing front raises, by all means, drop one weight and lift one to the front. When you're here, look at this, up tall. Straight up, again, right to shoulder level. Nice and controlled. There's number 10. Good. You're going to bring those dumbbells together in the front. Bring them overhead. You're going to turn around so you can see. You're going to drop them straight down. Drive straight up. Again, same form to protect your back if you need to split your feet. Keep your core in nice and tight. Those elbows are right to the front. So no chicken wings. Keep them right here. Biceps by your ears. Straight up. If your weights are heavy, Drop one weight and drive up this way with just one dumbbell. Your choice. Again, 10 of each. I'm going to walk you through a set. You ready? Here we go. Flies first. Nice and controlled. No swing in those weights. If you can swing your weights around, they're a little too light, or in some cases, they're too heavy. So make sure you can keep control of that weight you're lifting. in, chest up, focus on that breathing, last one right here, good, bring them to the front, knuckles towards me, straight up, front raises, seven, eight, nine, and ten, turn them up, bring them over, elbows to the front, Drive straight up. Two, three, abs in tight. Four, split if you need to. Five, six, eight, nine, ten. Awesome job. So now remember, same thing. If you're just getting started and you can only make two sets or three sets, that's okay. Your goal is five. 10 repetitions, five sets. Work in there as much as you can. If you 
you start today and you get two or three, come back next time, try for three or four, till you build up, until you build up with good form. As always, you guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them down in the comment box. If you haven't yet, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell so you get notified when our videos drop. Tomorrow is Mark. I know he's got something great for you guys as always. I'm in for today. I look forward to hearing from you about today's upper body workout. As always, you guys, however, stay safe, stay healthy. Most importantly, just be kind to one another.